All right, in Illustrator, there are a few ways to actually go in and uh, create a sense of perspective, okay? If you've got CS5 or higher, there's a simple little perspective tool here. If you just do a perspective grid tool, and you can select the side that you want the object to adhere to. So we'll come down here and grab the perspective selection tool once we've got the grid up. Select this object here and place it on the grid, like so. We can also build new objects that are directly on the grid. So if we select the orange side, we'll build another one here, for instance. Now, if you've got text that you want to be in, in perspective, you just type your text out, and it can be shape or just text. Come down, grab your perspective grid tool, grab your perspective selection tool, select the side that you want the text to adhere to, whichever side that is, select the text itself and just slap it right there on the grid. You can rescale that. If you hold down the shift key, you'll scale it in proportion so that it fits on whatever side of the building or whatever uh, side of the interior of the office or whatever that you have there, okay? And there you have it. Once you've done that, close that out and your text is sitting there in perspective and it's also already been converted to shapes. All right, the other way to, uh, to make perspective in Illustrator, if you don't have CS5 or higher, if you get something lower than that, is sort of the old fashioned way that, that, uh, that we used to do it. And that is to, uh, to simply draw a couple of lines. Make sure you don't make them connect down there. They just need to be close to each other. So that what you could see, if you, if you understand linear perspective, you could see that there would be a vanishing point right about there where those two lines would intersect. I'm going to select the two lines that I just drew. I'm going to go up to Object, down to Blend, and Make, and it's going to put a line sort of in between those. I'm going to go Object, down to Blend again, Blend Options, Specified Steps, I'm going to say about five steps. Go ahead and click that preview so I can see what that's going to look like. And now I've got actually perspective grid lines going away from a vanishing point there. And I'll click OK. And what's really cool is I can actually change this quite a bit. If I go ahead and select the individual anchor point, I can actually change that. So if I want to spread that, uh, that vanishing point out just a little bit, I can. And so now I can select this whole thing, go Object, Expand, and it's going to expand this out. It's also grouped it together. So when I select one, they all are selected. I'm going to press Command Shift G to ungroup them. And then I'm going to select them all again. And I'm going to go over to uh, View, Guides, Make Guides. So I'm going to make these into guides that are invisible uh, whenever they're printed, but they're clear and, and they're here for me presently. 